Hi, today I wanted to show you Drosera Bermanii. This is one of my favorite little sundews. Um, I just put some food on its leaf. It's supposed to have one of the fastest motions or maybe the fastest motion for any sundew. So maybe during the course of this video even, you'll see um, a little bit of movement uh, over this couple minutes. So uh, the short version for this one, it's basically the same as caring for Drosera capensis. If you're um, an experienced sundew grower, then this will be no problem, except um, if it flowers, and it flowers fairly prolifically. Um, when it flowers, you have to be sure to feed it through that period because it can tax itself to death and then um, die after that flowering. That's what I've heard. Um, so you can see here, this one has flowered a few times. Uh, it has a flower stalk right now that's off camera, and um, there's that dead little husk up there kind of near uh, that leaf. So, um, yeah, I, you know, and this is an old plant too. I think this has flowered probably five or six times. You can see a lot of dead leaves around there. I don't know how much longer this guy's going to live. Um, I just have heard that these are kind of more annuals and ones that you would, um, you know, replant kind of year or you would, you know, grow from seed each year. So good news there too. Growing from seed is super easy. Um, no stratification needed that I've ever experienced. Um, it self-pollinates. Uh, produces a lot of seed, but it's not so bad like Capensis that it's just going to show up everywhere. Um, and it's a pretty tiny plant. I have the um, a macro lens on now just to kind of see that movement and see the dewiness and everything. Also, the plant's not looking that great right now because it's so old. Um, but yeah, it's nice and small. Uh, this is the Humpty Dew variety. Um, this is a really red version. Uh, I have this under 17 hours of light, kind of a typical like sundew, you know, summer period um, in my house. And I would say it's about, I don't know, 70 degrees Fahrenheit there. So nothing super special needed. And I just keep this wet like you would any other sundew. Um, but yeah, it's a super fun one. I think they're becoming more popular. And I think, you know, you, you could probably notice the it's moving in front of us. This is not sped up in any way. Um, yeah, it's a great at catching little gnats and just super cool to see how fast uh, the, you know, the different uh, parts of the leaf move. And then the leaf itself will, will kind of surround it a little bit. Not a ton of motion like uh, Drosera regia or something, but a little bit of wrapping, um, you know, a little bit like a pensis as well. So highly recommend these. They're super fun, easy to keep, really cool, fast motion, and you can have, um, you know, space for other plants. So check this out if you can. Let me know if you have any questions.